morning. Uh, how are you guys? I'm fine. Uh, today I'm going to uh, discuss with you about uh, Jupyter. So Jupyter Notebooks, basically. So uh, those who wants to learn machine learning or data science and uh, they want to practice their uh, skills, they, they should always try with Jupyter. So Jupyter is a uh, open source uh, web application that uh, enables or uh, that gives you the opportunity to run code with, uh, with a web-based environment. And using that, you can very quickly test and uh, simulate your results with uh, data processing and all those things. So where should we start? First, uh, I am on my uh, Windows machine and I'm going to install uh, Jupyter through pip. So I already have installed Python 3 and pip and using pip, I'm going to install Jupyter. So I open uh, PowerShell. So then I'm going to uh, run this command pip install uh, Jupyter lab. Probably I already have installed. Oh, sorry. I think uh, there shouldn't be any. That means I already have installed Jupyter Lab on my PC. But if you haven't, then you should inst this should install all the process with you. So let me clear this process. So I have already installed uh, Jupyter Lab, and then I what I need to do is to um, go to a folder and then create a new project over there. So um, let's uh, go to a folder here for Jupyter Lab. And I'm going to close this and open my PowerShell from this Jupyter lab. Here it is. So um, I'm in this directory, and then what I will run is Jupyter space lab. That's it. It should start Jupyter lab. Mm -hmm. But my antivirus is actually analyzing this script, so that's why it's taking some time, but uh, it should be okay. okay. Let me actually go to uh, type this. Eight, 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 eight. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So this is my um, Jupyter Lab that runs on a Chrome. So that's what I said. It's a web-based interface. It runs on your browser. So first, I'm going to create a notebook using Python three. Okay. Then I'm going to save this notebook. Give it a name. So it's save as, so give it a name here, ML examples dot IPYNB. You need to give this extension so that you can reuse it in data trace. Okay. So um, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to, um, so actually I'm going to use this one. So uh, ML examples should IP and Y B and we can save this. We can reuse this script or this 
uh, Jupyter library or Jupyter uh, notebook for uh, next purposes. I'm going to download a, a data file from Kaggle. Kaggle is a website where you can see all sorts of data available for your machine learning analysis testing. I'm just going to download this uh, Scooby Doo Doo example. So let's download. Okay, it has downloaded, and I need to extract this to the folder where my uh, IPNY file is located. So I have extracted into this directory. That's done. So let's go here. Okay, now I'm going to import my pandas. So um, import pandas, SPD, and then I'm going to run it. Uh, I'm going to load the data. The beauty of Jupyter is if, if you press the tab, uh, it should uh, give you the file uh, auto completion. So let's say I see SC and then press the tab. It should fill up the file name. Scooby Dooby Doo completed CSV. Okay. And then we are going to see the data. Oh, there is the data. This is the index. This is the series name. This is the notebook. This is the season. This is the title, this is the IMDb rating. Now there's 633 rows, 75 columns, etc. We can actually check all those things here. Let's uh, see shape. So uh, what I see, we have 603 rows and 75 columns. That's our data statistics. Now we want to know the column names, right? Let's try to do this. df.colums. So we have these columns, indexes, name, network, season, title, IMDB. Uh, all those columns are given here. And the beauty of uh, Jupyter is that you can run individual cells so this is a cell you can run individual cells without being affected anything rather than uh, i need to run the whole thing i can just run on this particular thing i just removed here uh, df dot head and we can just run here this part all others will stay as it is or even we can um we can run something called um So these, these are all my data that's showing here. So let, let me just remove this. Uh, control forward slash run it. This is gone shape. So this is all well, we can run it here without being running the whole scripts. That's the beauty. So uh, we have imported pandas. We have read those CSV files. We have counted the rows. We have counted the columns. Now we can do is we can uh, only uh, do some sort operations we can do filtering operations and you can do some machine learning operations as well uh, if you wanted to do this with uh, other uh, python editors like vs code or pycharm you can do that but they will it will always run from the start and then go back and see checking those data it's quite tedious but here it's interactive so if I change here and I just immediately see the output below, which where in Python, oh, sorry, where in Visual uh, VS Code, you need to uh, run it and you want to open the console and then you want to see the output, which is not really, really related to line by line. That's the beauty of Jupyter. And I always suggest you to use Jupyter for your machine learning projects or machine learning uh, Data science related uh, taxes, you can use Jupyter uh, to, to do, do this or practice over here. 
so that's the basic uh, tutorial for today uh, i hope this helps you to set up jupyter on your local environment or local machine so you can uh, set up jupyter on your windows and then you can start uh, learning machine start practicing machine learning examples and one more thing you can check kegel here uh, if i pronounce properly kegel so kegel it's it's a um, website where you can find all those uh, data examples that you can use actually to learn or practice data science related projects machine learning related projects even your other projects as well so uh, that being said uh, this is my tutorial for jupiter i hope it helps you to set up jupiter and i will create more machine learning related tutorials in coming days so that you can uh, get experience with uh, machine learning thank you have a nice day bye bye